As our population continues to grow and urbanize, it's important that we make conscious efforts to create communities that are environmentally, socially, and economically sustainable. One way that individuals can contribute to the sustainability of their communities is by reducing their energy consumption. This can be as simple as using energy efficient appliances, turning off lights and electronics when not in use, and sealing windows and doors to reduce drafts. Another way to create more sustainable communities is through the use of renewable energy sources, such as solar panels or wind turbines. These technologies not only reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, but also have the added benefit of generating clean, pollution-free energy. Communities can also work to promote sustainable transportation options, such as public transit, biking, and walking. This not only reduces our carbon footprint, but also has the added benefit of improving air quality and public health. Another important aspect of sustainability is the use of green spaces, such as parks and gardens, which provide a number of environmental and social benefits. These spaces can help to filter pollutants out of the air, reduce stormwater runoff, and provide opportunities for recreation and social interaction. Finally, sustainable communities often prioritize the use of local and environmentally friendly products and services. This not only supports the local economy, but also reduces the environmental impact of transportation and packaging for other products. One real-life community that is working to reduce its environmental impact is the city of Curitiba, Brazil. Curitiba has been recognized as one of the most sustainable cities in the world, thanks to its innovative approach to urban planning, transportation, and waste management. Some of the ways the city has implemented sustainability are these. For sustainable transportation, Curitiba has developed a Bus Rapid Transit System, or BRT, which is considered to be one of the most efficient, affordable, and sustainable transportation systems in the world. This system has reduced the number of cars on the road, decreasing air pollution, and reducing traffic congestion. Curitiba has also implemented an innovative waste management system, which includes door-to-door -door collection, recycling, and composting of garbage, and this system has helped to reduce the amount of waste sent to landfills and has created jobs and income for low-income families. Curitiba has implemented a number of green spaces, including parks, gardens, and bike paths, which have helped to improve air quality and provide recreational opportunities for residents. Curitiba has also implemented a number of energy conservation measures, including building energy-efficient buildings and promoting the use of renewable energy sources. Altogether, these actions have helped to create a more livable and sustainable city, and it has served as a model for other cities around the world. By adopting these and other sustainable practices, we can work to create communities that are not only better for the environment, but also more livable and enjoyable for all of us. Now here's a challenge for you. You'll be designing a crest for a real-life sustainable community with symbols to demonstrate how the community is being sustainable. To complete this challenge, you'll need to research a real life town, city, country, or other type of region that is currently practicing sustainability. You'll then use your creativity to design a crest that represents at least four ways the community of your choice is being sustainable. You can design this by hand or using tools like Adobe Express. Your crest should include a title, at least four symbols representing different aspects of sustainability, such as renewable energy, sustainable transportation, recycling, conservation of natural resources, and biodiversity, a color scheme that reflects the values of your sustainable community, and a short summary of the main sustainable features represented on the crest with some specific facts about how that community you chose is being sustainable. This example you're seeing here is a crest that could represent what we've already learned about Curitiba, Brazil. Choose a different community for your own research. Once you've completed your crest, you can share it with a partner or present it to the class. Good luck.